So you want to build a actual arc reactor from the movie Iron Man. We're about to talk about just that by combining real elements into an actual arc reactor using the design from the movie. Here are some keys to remember. Do you see the wires wrapped around in the spaces where the wire is? And remember that ring that is wrapped around? We're going to call that the dielectric. That's a key. That's a tube that's going to be a junction between the wire and the cylinder in which to wrap our apparatus around. Now, the wire or the coils, that's going to be bipolar. And remember, that's taken from Nikolai Tesla's patent number 336961. The wires will be between the arc gaps. So if you know anything about a Marx generator, you know it creates sparks. Your wires will be between that. And if you remember, the voltage will always climb up. So if you make this bigger, the higher the potential energy. And then Nikolai Tesla's patent, what we call a antenna, will be picking up that voltage and turning it into DC power. I wrote this in the paper, which will be in the description. So let's hear this theory. Scientific paper, radiant energy collection and electromagnetic pulses in a modified arc reactor design. Abstract, this paper presents a theoretical design based on the fictional arc reactor from the Iron Man series, modified to integrate the principles of Nikola Tesla's radiant energy and Edwin V. Gray's cold electricity. By incorporating a Marx generator, spark gaps, and bifolar coils, the apparatus is designed to step up low voltage inputs to high voltage outputs and capture radiant energy for practical use. The spark gaps, inspired by Tesla's patent number 336961, are positioned where the fictional arc reactor's glowing arc is located, generating electromagnetic pulses that are captured by bifolar coils wrapped around a dielectric. This system theoretically converts low voltage to high voltage efficiently, while conserving space and offering a novel approach to radiant energy collection. 1. Introduction Nikola Tesla's work on radiant energy and Edwin V. Gray's cold electricity concepts have long intrigued the scientific community. Tesla's experiments with high voltage discharges and Gray's discoveries of non-heat producing electrical energy both proposed alternative ways to harness and utilize energy. This paper takes inspiration from these pioneers and integrates their principles into a redesigned version of Tony Stark's arc reactor, adapting it into a scientifically sound apparatus capable of capturing radiant energy via spark gaps and bifolar coils. This modified arc reactor is proposed as a radiant energy collection device that amplifies low-voltage electrical inputs into high-voltage discharges using a Marx generator, capturing electromagnetic pulses generated by spark gaps. The placement of the bifolar coils and the reconfiguration of the design are key innovations that ensure efficient energy capture while maintaining a compact, functional layout. 2. Theoretical Background 2.1 Radiant Energy and Cold Electricity Tesla's patent number 336961 describes a system for capturing electromagnetic waves emitted from high voltage discharges. Radiant energy, generated by such discharges, interacts differently with matter compared to conventional electricity, making it a promising source of power. Edwin V. Gray expanded on this concept by introducing cold electricity, a type of energy that does not generate heat, suggesting more efficient energy transfer. Tesla's spark gap based system and Gray's exploration of cold electricity can be seen as complementary. Tesla focused on the generation of radiant energy, while Gray explored its practical applications. The goal of this paper is to combine these two concepts into a single apparatus capable of producing and capturing radiant energy for efficient energy conversion. 2.2 Marx Generator and Spark Gaps the Marx generator is a well-established device for stepping up low-voltage inputs into high-voltage outputs by charging capacitors in parallel and discharging them in series. 
The discharges create spark gaps, which emit radiant energy in the form of electromagnetic pulses. These spark gaps are essential for generating the high-frequency pulses needed to capture radiant energy effectively. 3. Modified Arc Reactor Design The arc reactor from Iron Man serves as a conceptual basis for this design. In our modified version, the glowing arc seen in the fictional apparatus is replaced by real spark gaps, positioned where the wires would be wrapped around the reactor in the movie. These gaps create high-voltage discharges that emit radiant energy. The bifolar coils are then positioned to capture the electromagnetic waves generated by the spark gaps. 3.1 Key Modifications to the Arc Reactor Design 1. Spark Gaps at the Glow Arc In the fictional arc reactor, the arc at the center glows brightly. In this scientific design, we replace that glow with spark gaps positioned precisely where the wires are wrapped around the reactor's core. These gaps will emit high voltage sparks, generating radiant energy and electromagnetic waves. 2. Bifolar coils wrapped around dielectric. Where the arc reactor has glowing coils, we place bifolar coils. Two wires wound on top of each other with a center tap at the bottom of the apparatus. These coils are wrapped around a solid state dielectric material, which acts as both a conductor of electromagnetic waves and an insulator. The bifolar coil configuration maximizes the electromagnetic fields generated and conserves space, allowing for efficient energy capture. 3. Marks Generator A Marks generator will be incorporated into the apparatus to amplify low voltage input into high voltage discharges. The output from this generator will be directed into the spark gaps creating radiant energy bursts that can be collected by the surrounding coils. 4. Electromagnetic Pulse Collection The bifolar coils, acting as both antennas and inductors, capture the radiant energy generated by the spark gaps. These coils are tuned to resonate with the frequency of the discharges, enabling them to capture the maximum amount of energy from the electromagnetic waves. 5. Center Tap Configuration In the modified arc reactor, both wires of the bifolar coil are placed on top of each other, with a center tap located at the bottom of the design. This configuration allows for more compact construction and increases the effectiveness of the electromagnetic wave capture by ensuring that the coils are as close as possible to the energy source. 4. Circuit Design The circuit diagram for this apparatus involves several key components, arranged to maximize the capture of radiant energy and minimize energy losses. 1. Low Voltage DC Power Source The system starts with a low voltage DC input, such as a 12 volts battery. This input is directed into the Marks Generator to step up the voltage. 2. Marks Generator The Marks Generator takes the low voltage input and steps it up into high voltage pulses. Each stage of the generator creates a spark gap that emits radiant energy. 3. Spark Gaps the spark gaps are placed at the points where the bifolar coils are wrapped around the solid-state dielectric. These spark gaps generate electromagnetic pulses that radiate energy into the surrounding space. 4. Bifolar Coils The bifolar coils, positioned around the spark gaps, capture the electromagnetic waves emitted by the discharges. The coils are connected to the energy storage system through the center tap at the bottom of the apparatus. 5. Energy Storage the energy captured by the bifolar coils is routed into a capacitor bank for storage. This stored energy can be smoothed out and made available for use in powering DC devices or charging batteries. 6. Output The system's output is designed to provide usable DC power for motors or other electrical devices. Alternatively, the stored energy can be routed to an inverter to generate AC power for household use. 5. Discussion 5.1 Spark Gap Interaction with Electromagnetic Pulses The spark gaps serve as the primary source of radiant energy. Each spark generates a burst of high-frequency electromagnetic waves that propagate into the surrounding space. The bifolar coils, wrapped around the solid-state dielectric, are positioned to capture these waves, converting them into usable energy. 5.2 Electromagnetic Wave Collection by Bifolar Coils the bifolar coil design maximizes the efficiency of the energy capture. By winding the two wires on top of each other, with a center tap, the coils act both as antennas and inductors, allowing them to resonate with the high-frequency pulses generated by the spark gaps. This resonance ensures that the coils capture the maximum amount of energy from the electromagnetic waves. 5.3 Energy Conversion and Efficiency 
The Marx generator effectively steps up the low voltage input, ensuring that the spark gaps create sufficiently high voltage discharges to generate radiant energy. The bifolar coils, acting as both electromagnetic receivers and transformers, capture this energy with minimal loss. The combination of high voltage discharges and efficient coil design results in an apparatus that can convert low voltage input into usable high voltage output with high efficiency. 6. Conclusion This paper proposes a novel, functional design for capturing radiant energy using a modified version of Tony Stark's arc reactor. By integrating a Marx generator, bifolar coils, and spark gaps, the apparatus is capable of stepping up low voltage inputs to high voltage discharges that generate and capture radiant energy. The bifolar coils, acting as both inductors and antennas, efficiently convert this energy into usable electrical power. The system is compact, efficient, and based on well-established principles from Nikola Tesla's and Edwin V. Gray's work on radiant energy and cold electricity. This theoretical design, grounded in Tesla's and Gray's discoveries, provides a new way to think about energy capture and conversion. Future experimentation and development of this apparatus could lead to practical applications in renewable energy and beyond. This paper provides a detailed description of how the arc reactor design can be modified to function as a radiant energy device, drawing on established electromagnetic principles. The proposed apparatus is both scientifically plausible and offers a compact, efficient means of energy conversion.